All right, Keegan, in 10 seconds or less, explain to me what's happening right now. Well, we're going to get some food from Savons. We're going to get the last bits of whiffies, and then we're heading into the abyss again. Good job. It only took you eight seconds. Tell you what, Bart. How, how good summer, eh? Yeah, it's pretty sick. <laughs> Just need to go for a surf up here. I think like the yeah. waves are pretty good around the corner, eh? <laughs> this is our first time we've taken our shirts off in a while. Um, getting kind of stanky again. We're doing real good with mileage. We just passed halfway. We've almost made 70 miles on just our first battery. It's fucking awesome. It's definitely the temperature. It's definitely the I'm putting it yeah. down to it. I think once the temperature goes up, it's worthwhile driving in daytime. We think the hydro grid is following us through this range. There's, there's, we're going through like a hilly, really small mountain range to get down to Fort St. John. And we're pretty confident that the hydro grid is following us because if that's the case, then we are rolling. Red hot rolling. What sure you, this is the right way? What do you say when you have 55 miles to drive and only about 30 in the tank? It's gonna be a long night. <laughs> it's gonna be long. I'm trying to, I'm trying to track the sun to get out of here. Here's Jolza making some uh, winches. Happy birthday! To get me up on out of here. Would love to give a uh, shout out to my mum. 23 years ago. She carried me in a stomach for nine months. Fuck that. <laughs> Can't imagine doing that. Not about a place to spend your birthday. <laughs> the night is young, and we made it to 101 mile on the highway. <laughs> What do you reckon a vodka and a gin? Keegan, what are we celebrating? This could make. <laughs> what are we celebrating? We made it out of a fucking winter. We made it out of winter. <laughs> we literally have escaped winter. Like, it's official. We have escaped winter. We're in mile 101 on the Alaska Highway. Tomorrow, we're going to be in Fort St. John. The next day, we're going to be 200 miles in a southward direction. The day after that, we're going to be 400 miles in a southward direction. The day after that, we're going to be 600 miles in a southward direction. Vancouver! And, 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 23 years ago, my mother shat me out. <laughs> I don't think it works like that, Keegan. I'm pretty sure that's how I'm it works. I'm pretty sure. Colette, don't worry, I'll look after him for you. Love you, Mum. <laughs> I'll teach him a thing or two. <laughs> And I'll make sure that he understands what how babies are actually made. What do you reckon vodka and gin taste like together? What's what's the news on the street? The word on the street is. Oh, the news. Oh, the news. Yeah. Well, the word on the street is that we can drive whatever the fucking speed we want. <laughs> well, within the bounds of the vehicle. Because we're solar rolling on hard road. So no solar rolling. We plugged in last night before we went to bed and at about 4am this morning, I reckon the van charged itself. We're on the 50 amp grid. I'm gonna give him his birthday present now. <laughs> hey, mate. hey mate. Happy birthday. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Jeez, bro. I got him a game called Rummy. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, Junior. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd like that. <laughs> Another year older. <laughs> you know, because I'm so much older than you. <laughs> it even looks like you too. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> it actually looks like you. <laughs> I remember you told me you missed chai tea. <laughs> so I bought you a box of chai tea. This is fucking awesome. <laughs> this is my electric uh, 
scooter. Oh, yeah, whoa. It does 80 kilometers on lithium batteries. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's, that's what's getting. Just, uh, got a, I think you've got a unique photo opportunity here. There's a, a van here with two Australian chaps. They ferried it up to Alaska and they're doing a, um, a film on their travels to... How far are you going? Sierra del Fuego, Argentina, the very bottom of The bottom Argentina. of Argentina. But it's, uh, they're going to spend the night at my place and then head down your direction. What's it called? The That's Passive Fort House. John Passage. Fort St. John Passage. Fort St. John Passage. They yeah. just circulate air. They don't have a heater. Oh, so really? So like in minus 40, they don't even need heat. Oh. Which is phenomenal to me. Yeah. Like yeah, out yeah. here. Completely eco-friendly? Is that what they were saying? It's, it's carbon negative or something like that. That's what she said. Yeah, over its lifetime it will actually absorb more carbon. It's Ernie Freeman and I grew up here in Fort St. John. I've sort of looked at how resource-based communities uh, work and I'm very concerned about the people in, in, the, in our community. Looking at the future of our grandkids, so, you know, I'm just looking to the future. Yeah. Just an ordinary Joe Blow, I think. <laughs> ordinary citizen. Uh, I decided to um, build my own electric vehicle or convert one back in 1981 and I wanted to uh, help the government uh, build some, get this infrastructure built to bring a diversity of transportation solutions to our province and I felt electric vehicles is one way yeah uh, I think uh, the community has to be involved and it's a diverse number of ways uh, to to help solve a lot of these a lot of these issues we're here in oil and gas country. Oil and gas isn't going to go away. We need the products from oil and gas. I think it's just a different shift of how we use the products. <clears throat> and eventually get into uh, uh, a greener way of using the products. I think the critical thing that you guys are doing, and hopefully I in a small way, is, is getting that community dialogue rolling. Engaging community. Yeah, motorcycle. Evidently we need it. <laughs> It's amazing what you find. Mm -hmm. You yeah. might think, oh, big redneck area. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's not. No. There's a very strong, you know, sort of green mm -hmm. undercurrent mm -hmm. through this whole region. Of course. Uh -huh. You know, um, it was uh, U.S. Uh, um, uh, draft dodgers. Mm -hmm. In the 70s, a and whole wave of them came up that's here. That's how they and started. Settled. Yeah, yeah, and they're still scattered all yeah. over the freaking cool. place. It's amazing what you, you meet back in the bush around here. Unless <laughs> <laughs> you've been living off grid, you know, <laughs> yeah. a couple of solar panels and eating moose for the last 20, 30, 40 that's years. That's amazing. Right? Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, well, I was an early adopter of renewable energy. Um, I bought my first solar panel in uh, 1982, 81. When the first commercial panels became available, there was one manufacturer in California. I ordered it mail order out of a popular mechanics magazine. And so I stuck it on my cabin and lived on solar uh, way back when. And I slowly built that up. And I lived just out of Dawson Creek. Uh, owner built home, super insulated, solar powered, blah, blah, blah. Uh, sustainable as I could make it in 1980s and 90s technology. <laughs> <laughs> and I just kept in, improving it. I guess the next big thing that got me going in renewables was Peace Energy Renewable Energy Cooperative. I was one of the two founding members that got that started in 2003. Uh, we were the first renewable energy cooperative in Western Canada and the second one in Canada. Right now we're moving, we've been moving for the last five years aggressively into solar energy. We're finding a very positive response. We do an awful lot of the cooperative, does an awful lot of uh, community outreach, uh, education, seminars. Um, we run courses for electricians at the local college to train them up in solar. So we have now trained solar installers around the region uh, that we can call on to do installations. Um, and yeah, we're making a business out of solar here um, and it's working. All right, it's been hard work and it's been difficult work. Uh, but starting any new business is hard, difficult work. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. We have the answers, right? We know how to make clean energy. Um, and uh, this is great. It's fun. It's interesting. It's fantastic. It's better, okay? Etc. right? It can save you money. It can, you know, reduce your taxes. Uh, a million jobs everywhere, you know? I mean, it's all good freaking news. There's no reason to... It, 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 as far as we're concerned, to trash, you know, fossil fuels or something. 
they're trashing themselves quite happily, quite quite handily, and uh, they're going to disappear. Um, might be too late, but they're going to, all right? And renewables are going to take over, and it's going to be a better world. And we're very much involved in making that happen here, which is where everybody should make things happen for themselves, probably, where they live, and the people, with the people they know, and the connections they make over a lifetime. That's the most powerful thing a person can do. Tested the panels for the first time, which is talking the panels just a little bit. Yeah, you're a little upside down. Yeah.